everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are trying Neil Gaiman's writing routine. Now if you don't know who Neil Gaiman is, let's sit down, have a cup of tea, and I'll share with you. So Neil Gaiman is a famous English author. He has written short stories, novels, some screenwriting credits. A novel you probably know by him, even if you haven't read him, is Coraline. Yes, it was a novel before it was a movie. He wrote the novel. I'm actually doing a video either later this year or early next just because of scheduling. I have four brothers and I've read four Neil Gaiman books and I'm making them all read one of them so we can have a little book club video discussing it. So subscribe so you can watch me and my brothers talk about Neil Gaiman. Anyway, he's also written The Ocean at the End of the Lane. I think this is my favorite favorite book by him. Also in the version I have, there is like immaculate <laughs> like, illustration. It is incredibly beautiful and phenomenal. I really recommend this version. Ocean at the Inland Lane is a beautiful short novel. Neverwhere is a novel that is absolutely amazing. I've also read Graveyard Book. The ending of that book almost made me cry in the most wholesome, lovely way possible. Some of Neil Gaiman's notable works include Good Omens, Coraline, American Gods, Stardust, which is next on my list of Neil Gaiman things I want to read. Neverwhere, graveyard book, Ocean at the End of the Lane, like I just showed you. He also has a masterclass all about writing. He's also very famous for Sandman as well. Some major influences he has credited are C.S. Lewis, J.R.R. Tolkien, Edgar Allan Poe, Mary Shelley. Or I have listened to a bunch of podcasts with him and he originally started out in journalism and he would also interview various peoples and sell his interviews for money. And then he finally had his first professional short story published in 1984. He essentially became very successful <laughs> to say the very least <laughs> but how has he become this amazing writer when does he write how does he write that is what we're gonna discover this week Neil Gaiman writes pretty much every day even if he's uninspired from the hours of 1 to 6 so he's an afternoon writer but the key thing that he does is he writes all the first drafts of his books in longhand he doesn't start typing it until he's fully written the first draft and something that he also really does to combat writer's block is he allows himself to do nothing absolutely nothing because eventually writing becomes way more interesting than doing nothing. So for this week, I am going to do five days of writing Neil Gaiman's writing routine from the hours around one to five in long hands, no distractions, and just letting myself do nothing. And yes, I am going to get a fountain pen because he writes in fountain pen. <laughs> We're doing this authentically. <laughs> so let's jump to day one, get us a notebook and a fountain pen, and let's see how this week goes. Good morning. Uh, today is day one of writing in Neil Gaiman's writing routine. I am going to go to the bookstore and get a fountain pen and a, what do you call them? Notebook and a notebook and begin the routine. I'm going to go to a coffee shop today. I have to meet my friend at his place at 5.30, so I'm going to go in that area and write till 5, so 1 to 5 today just because that's what I can manage. I think I'm going to start, I know I'm writing my fantasy novel in November for sure, but I might start writing for the sake of trying to find the story because I really don't quite know yet, so I might use this as inspiration to start for, at least for today, or I might let, you know, inspiration take me somewhere else. Today, that's probably what I'm going to do is start writing it. Even if I spend this whole routine writing this fantasy novel that I really want to work on uh, in this, this little challenge, I will then go and outline it and restart in November for NaNoWriMo, which I've talked endlessly about on this channel. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the plan. I'm going to start with this fantasy novel, which if you caught my last video, I just created a vision board for. So keeping all that in mind as I discover this world. But yeah, it'll be very, very fun. I haven't written longhand for stories in so long. I was actually taught how to like properly type. So I am a very fast typer and I find it difficult to write stories because I feel like my hand doesn't move as fast as my brain. Whereas when I type, I can keep up with it. So we'll see how this goes. I'll let you know tomorrow morning because I don't think I'll have time at the end of the day to, to do it because it'll be where I'm going out of town to see um, some other friends on a show. So I, um, I'll i check in tomorrow morning to share what today's experience was about. But yeah, so let's go downtown. Let's go get some materials and start writing. Also, I have spent all of this morning listening to like Neil Gaiman on podcasts and interviews, just, just getting in the space, getting in the space. So I'm going to also continue listening to, to that while I hop on the streetcar and head downtown. Let's go.
day two of writing in Neil Gaiman's writing routine. I'm just gonna do a recap on day one since I didn't have time um, the other day. But so far I've written, I've written this much in the book. I think I accomplished way more than I thought I would. Yeah, it definitely is helping. The whole idea of like allowing yourself to do nothing is something I'm definitely, like I already know I'm gonna keep with me. Like giving myself permission to do nothing. Uh, I think it helps me not go on my phone or I think it helps me not go on my phone and be less distracted in that way, which is really nice. Writing by hand is interesting. It definitely, by the end of the day, my hand started hurting. I lasted longer than I thought before feeling any pain, which is which is nice. I don't get the hype about fountain pens. Maybe that's just because it's just like a twenty dollar fountain pen, and usually like the ones that he suggested in some interviews are like forty bucks. Even though I'm sure he uses way more expensive ones. So I bet those are different. But right now I'm I don't think I'll be like reaching for a fountain pen as a necessity or anything. I think I'll just go back to normal pens but I like the act of writing it down obviously I could never do that for script I think for script here writing names it just wouldn't work but for doing like a novel and stuff I I really like it to help discover the story and I think when I eventually want to turn this into a novel and do my first draft in November I will be able to take what I have written this week and create a bit of an outline from it because now I'm kind of understanding the characters they're not at all well developed right now but I'm kind of like hinting at it and then I'm making little side notes within what I'm writing to things to include later or little ideas within my free writing of just finding the story and it's really fun like I did the routine two days ago so I've been itching to get back to it today um, I just had to stop because work and I I've been itching to get back to this the past two days which is really a lovely feeling because it's so fun this feels low pressure which is great and discovering the story is really exciting and so far I'm really enjoying it so today I am going to settle down at a coffee shop technically the same, the same coffee shop I was at the other day just a different location I'm gonna run downtown get a little I'm getting a piercing um, and then I'm gonna go to the other end of Toronto because I'm meeting my friend after for dinner So I'm gonna set up camp uh, in that end of the city for a few hours and rights. So let's um, let's get going on day two writing in Neil Gaiman's writing routine. I haven't had a lot of time after each of the days I've done so far to check in like evening up. So far, my thoughts, I've written, I'm here so far, better than I thought it was gonna be. In terms of writing in longhand, I really like it when I'm doing descriptive writing or speaking through the narrator. When it comes to dialogue, for some reason, I don't like it as much. I wish I could just type it out and say it fast. And I feel like that's cause I'm used to primarily doing screenwriting, like a lot of it's dialogue. So I'm used to just like, like, especially when I do comedies, it's just bam, 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 is what it kind of feels like I can do when I type and just really go through the conversation. Whereas here, it feels a bit more like stop and start because I have to like say who said it, how they said it, you know? And for some reason, that's kind of like throwing me off a little bit. But I think the biggest thing with this challenge is writing in the afternoon. It's very weird. I know when Neil Gaiman, when he was younger, he used to write in the night, very, very late because he was working on top of it. And so, and that's the phase that I'm at in my life. You know, 
he did that when he was his early 20s. I'm in my mid 20s now and that's definitely like what I need to do because I work on top of this. I think it's different in the sense where he does writing in the afternoon now because writing is his job. It's what he does versus me where I write on my days off. All my work time is actually working in a completely different industry that's unrelated to, to writing. So I don't have that luxury of writing in the afternoon. So right now it's very hard to write in the afternoon on my days off because I want to do laundry and go grocery shopping and see friends and you know do all these life things so today right now it's almost 9 30 i'm gonna kind of break the rules a little bit and actually i'm gonna run a couple errands and then go to the library and start writing and i'll probably start around like 11. i need to do some important work and i don't want to do it this morning and rush it i think if i had the luxury of or if i eventually do hopefully who knows maybe have that luxury of writing is just my sole job then absolutely i would write in the afternoon why on earth would i get up early to do it or stay up late to do it being an emerging writer versus someone who's really well established even non-emerging writers like it's not an industry where you make a lot of money <laughs> so you really do it because you like it i'm not going to be able to do it as well as i would hope to but that's because this routine is not it's not meant for me at this point in my life i think that's definitely the the hardest part about this routine is is the time i thought it would be writing in longhand i actually really like it i think it's it really makes me take the time to stop and think especially the allowing yourself to do nothing i'm 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 taking that <laughs> i'm taking that idea for sure let's get going let's go to the library get a coffee do some errands and then start writing now it is i finished writing i'm not done for the day but i finished writing at the park at about 1 30 it's now two o'clock the reason i stopped and decided to come back was because on average i've been getting 30 like in the early 30s in terms of my page count on a daily average and three hours in today i was at 21 pages it's great so i decided to come back home because as i mentioned before i do have like a lot of stuff that i need to do outside of writing so during the the washes i'll do some writing as well and today was just like it's it really encouraging because I started off today worried in the sense that I didn't know where the story was going, which I don't know where any of the story is going. I'm still discovering it, but I finished off yesterday and I was like, where, where do I go from here? And I started writing a new scene. This character asked the other a question and the answer of that question just delved into this like pages of work, which is what primarily was I, what I wrote today, which was really helpful. And even now I don't feel writer's block. Like that's not why I came home. I came home because I was about to start a new scene because it led me to the next scene but then I was like I should go home I'm, I'm really ahead I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone and do my laundry so that was really nice it's weird being a discovery writer or taking that approach on this challenge on this week because I never know where it's gonna go the next day as someone who likes to plan an outline that's a bit daunting but having it just kind of figure itself out sometimes it's really nice and encouraging so I definitely think I still am a plotter but I definitely will use this it's like an exercise or if I ever wanted to write a short story I would probably just go straight to draft it's really fun I really am enjoying it. But yeah, I'm gonna start laundry and get back to writing. I actually have to go grab a new pen because it is completely out of ink. Almost three days with a fountain pen in. <laughs> Okay, so it is about four o'clock now. I started today at 10.30, so 3.30 marked the five hour mark, but I went till four just because it took me about half an hour to walk home from the park. So I just wanted to kind of make up that time. But in total, I reached about my daily, what my daily average is. Like I hit 30, I think it got to like 32. This is what I have for today. Yeah, it was a very good writing day. I got to end off today on a note where I can just pick up again back tomorrow and start hit the ground running because I kind of finished mid-scene and it's going to delve into this whole other arc of the story that's going to be revealed and blah, blah, blah. Tomorrow we'll be, I'll be able to do another five hour day and then Thursday I'll probably only be able to do about four hours, three or four hours of writing just because life, that's okay, that's great. But yeah, today was a great writing day and hopefully tomorrow we'll mimic today and be very productive as well. See you tomorrow. Okay, hi everyone. It is day 
four. Yes, it's day four of doing Neil Gaiman's writing routine. Today I'm gonna actually kind of start on time, maybe a bit early. It's almost 12 o'clock now. I'm just gonna go to like a cafe in my neighborhood for a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna co basically continue off. I feel like I'm in a good spot to kind of jump back in. To be honest, today I just don't want to do anything, but I'm gonna still make myself go right. Just one of those off days, you know? It happens to the best of us, but let's go right. Hey everyone, it is the final day of the writing routine. Yesterday, I only wrote for a couple hours because I realized I was pretty burnt out because I'd spent all my days off writing. I hadn't actually had a day off and sometimes I forget that it's actually really important to make sure I have a literal day off <laughs> in all of my actual job and the side stuff I'm trying to do. So yesterday, I only wrote for a couple hours and today I'm only gonna write for a couple hours just because I have to go into work later for some stuff. So yeah, so I'm gonna go. I'm not really gonna film any of it probably because I'm writing with a friend and and yeah, we're also like catching up and everything. So I will check in with you after for the wrap up, let you know how today went for writing and I'll also give you the update for how yesterday went for writing and like how much, how far I am in the notebook and everything. So I'll check in with you soon. Hey, um, the air show is about to start happening in Toronto and starting yesterday, like for the past two days, planes have been consistently going over my house. So if you hear any like loud, scary noises, like I'm fine, I'm good, I'm good. It's just a jet showing off. Okay, so I am going to recap the past couple days, day four. I stopped like two hours in. No, I think I even wrote under 10 pages and because I realized how tired I was because I had not given myself a proper day off. So I gave myself some grace that day and I took a little break. For Friday when I went writing with a friend, I also only had a couple hours to write because I had to go to work. So this is about how much I wrote on day five. Um, and yeah, so that was the rest of the week. In terms of how the whole experience went, I learned a lot and it was really lovely. Like in total I wrote this is the half of the notebook that I that I wrote on so I actually got a lot done I made it just over halfway even though this actually has a word on it, it says way <laughs> so that counts as a page no but on average I'd say in terms of pages I wrote about 30 pages daily on my good days writing longhand I think was great in terms of minimizing distraction uh, because I could I only ever use my phone for a playlist to help me get in the mindset of writing but it was really the idea of allowing yourself permission to do nothing that really helped and it's definitely something that I will like carry through because I didn't feel guilty in the moment about not doing anything. Writing becomes more interesting than doing nothing and I love doing it in public places like either at a library looking out the window or at a cafe because you could just look up and people watch and then something would kind of strike and you always had like inspiration there and how people moved and acted. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. I think <clears throat> it really helped me try and discover writing too for the first time was really interesting. I think the hardest part of it, as I mentioned a while ago, was the time of day that I had to write. Writing in the afternoon I found very difficult. Right now I am a morning writer or an evening writer uh, because that's just more feasible to me. But yeah, overall, I really loved trying this. Yeah, I really did enjoy doing this routine. I'm a huge fan of Neil Gaiman. I've read four of his books so far. Plan on reading more. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this week's video. Please subscribe um, and like the video if you'd like more. If you like it, it actually helps me with algorithm purposes. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you would like. Share my content. It's always super helpful. If you know anyone who's interested in this kind of stuff, please send them my way. And I hope to see you here next week. Thank you so much for tuning in for another week. And I will see you next. Oh, come on. So thank you so much for tuning in this week. And I will see you next week.